Hi guys and welcome to Bindcom Draws. Today I am going to be talking about Procreate app again and how to adjust your pen pencil pressure sensitivity size. It's a long word but it's an important uh, feature if you want to draw with lines that also are made out by the way you apply pressure sensitivity. And this is a question uh, that I've gotten uh, many times not only over my Instagram, but also over my YouTube channel. Actually, my first YouTube channel question was how the hmm do I set my pen pressure sensitivity uh, so it adjusts the size of the line as well. So that is something that I will be talking about today. So stay tuned and see how I do it now. So guys, Right here you see the interface of the Procreate app on iPad and um, we're just gonna jump straight to it. So we're gonna go to the brush library over here on your right side of the panel and you can see here you have the different brushes. The brushes that I'm gonna be focusing on is not gonna be sketching or inking or calligraphy uh, or actually most of these brushes, I, I kind of think that the settings for them works out, you know, pretty well. Um, I didn't really have a problem with these brushes going into this app for the first time. But right down here in painting brushes, I did stumble uh, upon this, uh, this pressure sensitivity size issue. And I will now show you what you can do to reset it yourself. As you can see down here, um, these small icons on the top right corner indicates that these brushes are brushes that I have modified to fit my own need. Um, this round brush right here is the brush that I am going to show you how to make. Um, so just to exemplify, we have the original uh, round brush of the Procreate app right here. And as you can see, it's it's not really reacting in terms of uh, size sensitivity and that makes it kind of you know very broad and it's it's not that easy to make details with it we're gonna try and change that a little bit so what you want to do is you go into the round brush and press on it one time and then you come into this panel and here you can see a small thumbnail of the brush and if you move your iPad pencil over it you can sort of test it. That's kind of a cool feature. Um, down at the bottom you have stroke, shape, grain, dynamics, pencil and general. What you want to go into in terms of making it uh, react in terms of size sensitivity is pencil. And right at the very top you can see you can slide the cursor to the left or the right and then it will change in terms of how it determines size on uh, on pressure. So if you test the brush now, you can see that the lighter you hold it, the less you press, it will not only change opacity now, but also the size of the brush. This is something we really like. We can just keep the brush like that and go back. You can see it changed as well. And then we can go back to the circle and now it's totally different. The harder we push, the broader it gets, but the lighter we push it, the more refined it gets. I think this is really important for me as an artist because it it makes me um, get away from uh, going to this brush size panel and readjusting all the time. I can take care of some of that adjustment by just, you know, pushing my pencil in uh, in in different ways and uh, another thing that I really like about that is also that I don't have to change back and forth between my brushes um, for example before what I would do was I would use the um, the sketch brush or any kind of brush that would make a fine line and then I would go back into to my my round brush and I would just apply you see if we reset it right here I would just apply, you know, the shading that I wanted. Um, that is fine, but having the option of, you know, editing 
your round brush to be size sensitivity uh, available or I don't know how to say it size sensitivity um, sensible yeah let's leave it at that it just makes it like uh, I have two brushes inside one brush inside one brush and and I mean that's it saves a lot of time for me in terms of going back and forth um, so yeah that's how you make that kind of brush you can do the same with um, for example I really like the nickel brush if you go into that it's the same under pencil and under size and pressure you just drag it out and it does the exact same thing now you might be wondering okay that's cool but how do I keep my original brush because I was kind of liking that as well and I want the option what you do is you just push down the brush that you have edited and then you slide it to the left like that and then you hit duplicate and then you can see that tiny small edited icon in the top right corner then you could go back to the original brush and just press reset and boom you have your original brush and there's really nothing more to it than that um, you can of course go in and look at the other features as well in terms of should we say maybe stroke let's just set this so it has size pressure go into stroke and we can maybe give it a little bit of jitter so it becomes a bit more rough that looks kind of cool and it gives it a little more texture I really like that feature. I actually do think that I have a brush that I gave a little bit of jitter. Yeah, there it is. Um, and that is something that you can play around with as well. But the most important thing is, as I said, um, adjusting the size if you want to be able to have a bit more control over the size and detail that you put into the brush. Um, so yeah, of course, I will test it out by just making a little drawing because you know it's fun to see what you can do with this new brush so now I am just making it really small but still being able to control uh, the size by just pressure and I think it gives a really cool um, you know texture I like it when uh, when I can paint bit softer I guess um, it's not that I don't like the quality of of the the sketching pencils I really do but if you already from the beginning decided that you want to be able to to draw some values in it and some colors I think that the softer look it just works out you know a little better so now here we have I think this is the face of a dragon. Um, now I can just go to size adjustment and turn down the opacity uh, like that. And then I can go in and because I have the size pressure on, I can adjust it a little more as I go through the drawing. I basically think that what you do with this particular edit to the brush is just that you basically you just add a little more control to it um, and you can of course always turn it off if you want to um, I think I want my procreate brushes to be as close to my Photoshop um, brushes as possible where you have a bit more control over it in terms of if you want to turn the sensitivity in terms of size on and off I kind of want to be able to do the same with Procreate of course it's never gonna be exactly the same but this you know comes a little closer and then you don't have to go out and download other brushes you can still do that there are many brushes out there that are really good but in this way you you can adjust it yourself and I think that adds a little bit of control to it 
So yeah, that was my uh, brush setting tutorial. If you want me to go further into what else you can do with the brushes, just let me know. No, but for now, I think that this is the most important feature and the one that was most uh, called for. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe and give a comment if you feel like it. And have a very good day.